you guys are just how my first fish at the uh, Land's End Fishery. That was in Somerset, there. It's in the land, in it? I know, it's not an easy procedure. I'll show you. Oh guys, what's my first fish? Land's End Fishery. I'll be if there's any pond I would have bought that fish. Sure. You can go back in there. So I'm just releasing the fish. As you can see that guys, I'll try and position a little bit better. It's been released now. So there we are guys, that's a bit of success straight away. I've um, put in a lot of these 2mm spotted fin pellets. The, uh, the cap seems to like what they are. So we pop them in a couple of them, just between the two pipes. So I'll get back to you if there's any more action. Oh look this one is
Okay guys, this is our uh, second carbon lens on this day. This sun is uh, under there. And he's been as lively as Alice for sure. Oh. Not the line of both showing you it, so there's a fish. guys. Cap number three. Another minute. At least a lot of yellow in this for sure. The one for the yellow you can more like a ghosty. There's the fish. And this one I was looking after cast because it was folded up so it's going back in now. Just about that, I'll cut and see guys, so I'm uh, put loads of loose feed in now. I'll come back with the fishing after.
Like you've got to go through this ritual where they got to have like a play around for a bit, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't see where this from but... Cap number four, courtesy of uh, Mark Jones, because he did the landing. There we go. And he's going back in now. Definitely got to stay on them small uh, bits, Mark. Knock that off. Okay, guys, just had um, cab number five. Another mirror. Come on, knock it off. Here's a fish and a lump. That's probably had the net underneath it because it bumps away and again. And I know the temperature's been quite cold this morning. The fish have been feeding. This fish doesn't like that. It's a bit camera show, I think, that one. Another lump, as you can see. Probably a good eight or nine pounds, that one. It's going straight back in now. Guys, that was cat number five, and uh, I had to wait a while for that one. For some reason, the uh, in the morning they were feeding quite well. We had uh, three off, three cap that is right off from the start. Then, um, I in between I got three perch as well. 
and they had a sort of spell for about half an hour. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And I had um, carp again, about seven or eight pound. But uh, my manager I found it, Mark Jones. And that fish then was about eight or nine pound there. So decent fish, definitely. So like on the Y, through the Y that is, I'm using uh, one of these bayonets again. I think they're really good because you don't seem to get many foul hooked fish with them. You know, it's, the hook is completely exposed and the uh, luncheon meat lies below the hook on a piece of line. And then the bayonet disc is pushed right through the luncheon meat. So uh, with the combination of that, the hook being exposed, hook being exposed, and the um, luncheon meat free from the hook, it seems that you seem to be able to get a better hook hold altogether. Right, I'm going to stop you and try and swivel you round. Well, I've put a lot of bait in this swim here. Micros and bits of lunch and meat. So uh, fish number seven, guys, is a uh, lovely looking common. This looks like it's one of the biggest I've caught today. It's pushing 10 pound, this fish. It's nice and broad as well, but uh, usually quite a good indicator of a decent fish. Some uh, hope of Paddy getting you up on there. Right, 
dicks out. I'm going to attempt to show it to you. But he's still got a lot of life in him, this fish. Lovely looking fish, huh? He's not too keen about being held. Probably the uh, prettiest fish I caught today, if it happens. So, there's a fish. He's an absolute stunner, to be honest with you. He's a good 10 pound, possibly 11 pound. It's a beautiful fish, out, and that's the best one I've caught today. He's a really good neck as well, so he's going back in again now, guys. The first one on pellets, and I've been putting dead whites in the water, robin red micros, and two millimeter spotted fin banoffee pellets. But I'm pretty sure those fish came in on the, uh, the dead whites because it's gone quite slow. Um, these dead whites seem to they seem to want to gorge on them when they're in the water so I'll bang a few more of them in now and for the time being I'm going to stick with the robin red pellets so for that I've been using um There's the uh, hook with the, the band on it. Float is a Preston Innovations Parrot 4x14. So I'm going to stick with the parrots, like I said, and uh, hopefully with me putting the... Um, Mike grows in two mil uh, spotted fin and off the pellets and just the yard six mil robin reds. I'll see if that uh, pays dividends for me. So I'm gonna swing you around in a minute. So, guys, seeing as uh, I had dead ones with me. I thought I'd uh, try him on the hook because I've been used loose feeding them to attract the fish and that's resulted in a slightly better perch. There you go for that. So he's coming back in. He's gone in. So I had to use a disclosure with that because like all perch, it goes all day right down. So what I'll do is I'll swing you round again. So right guys, here's another perch. So I'm gonna knock that on the head. Obviously the uh, dead maggots are uh, just attracting the perch. So that's something that I'll have to refrain from now. Bit of fun anyway, you know, catching a couple of perches are uh, always a bit of a laugh in it sort of breaks it up if you're not catching any um, carp so I'll definitely uh, be going back on the luncheon meat I think now let's try that guys
Okay, guys, I just stepped into, um, I believe it's cat number seven, could be number eight though. Because um, I haven't, I have got a click counter, but I haven't been using it today. I don't know whether you heard that then guys, but that fish pulled out. But uh, no damage done, no hook loss or anything like that. So possibly it was fouled up that fish anyway. Right guys, this is my, my last fish today. Next time you catch me, I'll be on the river Y. So this is either number 10. Or lemon. And this one is another tidy, common, beautiful looking fish. But we're going to go back in, catch you all again on the bank. Bye for now.